So here's the problem. I have to get those pocket holes screwed in there with this there. Or I take this out, make the box, and try and squeeze it in. I think I'm going to go for the latter because I can't do the former. I wanted to use these casters mounted in blocks but the drill I need is a 716 and despite having 239 different drills in this beautiful set the closest I've got is either a 3 8 or a half 3 8 is way too small a half is too big I found this ductwork sheet which was uh, cut out when somebody did our air duct cleaning and discovered that if I wrap this around there it shims in quite nicely so that's what I'll be doing
Well, that's the video. As it was uh, five years since I built this, um, I can also tell you my experience with this. And I would say that I've had no problems at all. The one thing I might change if I was building this again would be to beef up the, uh, the wire running for the power. Um, because if I happen to want, it, if I was tempted to run the planer and the fan at the same time, then I don't think that's a 15 amp uh, extension cord. Let me run you through the, the main features. As you can see, it doubles as a planer cart. I stole that idea from Jay Bates' YouTube channel. The filter it takes, as you've already seen, is the same size as the house filter so when the house filter gets too dirty I may use it in the uh, in the workshop. It, I put a, a timer on it um, so that I can walk away leave it running for three hours and not have to worry about it being turned off. The timer is also set up to time the Ryobi chargers and uh, just in case the chargers uh, don't turn themselves off, I think they probably do, um, it will, I can set it to, to charge for three hours and turn off. The, um, putting the chargers on here saves some horizontal space in other places as well and that makes that uh, very space efficient. Um, and there's also the flexibility to um, run anything directly from the power rather than running it through the power through the uh, the timer. This is the uh, the feed to get power to the switches and therefore the uh, the blower motor. So I could plug it in here. Put it the right way around. And that turns off. Or if I put it back in here, then it is controlled by the timer. Once the timer goes around, it'll turn itself off. So that's it. I would uh, mark this one down as a success. Mm -hmm.